Welcome back to another episode of The Real Teachers of Atlanta. To my left, I have Joya. And to my right, I have Ty and I am Nikki. And today, I just want to get y'all a little riled up, maybe a little. I just feeling, I'm feeling spicy. And I love <laughs> to get spicy. your opinions on <laughs> teacher. I don't know if I want to say it that way. Let's see. Smashing and passing. Wait, what? <laughs> Smashing and passing. Smashing okay, let's get into passing. it. We got the queens in the house, y'all. Hi, I'm Mrs. P. Smith, the Mama Barrett School, your favorite ELA and SPED teacher, but always teaching my students about business. I'm Miss Rose, commonly known as the Snacky Teacher, always ready with the good candy the kids say I'm their favorite math teacher. After school, it's lights, camera, action. During school hours, it's Miss Carter, the life science teacher saving lives. We got the queens in the house, y'all. Okay. So what, what's smashing and sm- passing? You know, when you smash a student and you pass them on to the next grade. Because you definitely gotta pass them. Gotta pass them. Wait, can't what? fail them. Can't smash and fail them. You smash gotta them, smash you gotta pass, pass them. Oh, they tell them. Damn show sure tell them. Snitching. Oh, you thought we were talking about something? I'm sorry. Mm. We wasn't. Okay. Mm-hmm. I don't even know where to even <laughs> <laughs> Stunder. I knew it was going to get up. <laughs> so, in real life, teachers mm-hmm. are having inappropriate relationships yes. with students. Yeah. That's just that's, that's just the facts. Is. Yeah. Unfortunately. Um, I can't say this is a new trend because so, yeah. this type of stuff was happening when I was in high school. Yeah. I, I, I never smashed a teacher. <laughs> but I've had people... <laughs> Jesus about Nikki. Huh? I just laugh. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I never did it. Don't worry oh, about you. You're a little suspect. I was too so. scary. Um, but you know that type of thing was happening mm-hmm. in my high school. Um, yes, um, there are teachers that are predators. Yeah, um, mm-hmm. because if you're if you're having sex with underage kids, um, so unfortunately, that's just what you are. Yeah, and like I, you know, it was it was it was a lot of that happening in in my school. A lot of that. So. I feel like it's happening. I don't I want to say it's happening more now. I just think you're hearing about it more because, you know, there's social media. And I think that there are first off, I, I feel like part of it might just be like the age gap between some students and teachers. And then there's also like students who seek that relationship with like the teacher because it's so I don't know. It's so taboo. Like it's like, mm-hmm. oh, I I'm, you know. You know how like younger girls they want older guys. You remember like that's I that's know the, one of one I'm, of my teachers. I'm so I, I mean I remember. Okay, so like I remember being in middle school and thinking one of my one of my teachers was cute. But did I want to like be in a relationship with them? No, but you know <laughs> we're like in high I was school, in middle and school and like, I was like, oh, he's cute. I can't wait to go to that class. You know, just so we could look at him. I, I, but I ain't never want to like be his girlfriend. No, you had one teacher. You probably like, oh, they're attractive. He looks good. Woo, he looks good. Or, yeah, you know something like that. It. But that's, that's all. Yeah, right. It's not like but I'm fantasizing kids, about bedroom teacher. sex yes. with my teacher. <laughs> yes, do you, you got to come to school? Yeah, I can't do it. And but, we done did something. Uh uh-uh. uh but they but do it. Ha- it, it does. It's hap- It happens a, a lot. lot more than we think. Like I said, I know so firsthand weird. of it to be I think true. we all know. When I was in high school, I mean, the, the other person wasn't a teacher, but when I was in high school, a couple, I have two classmates, and they're, one, one of them is actually still married, but they both dated older guys. And I'm talking, we were in 11th were the, grade. The teachers. No. Oh, okay. But I'm saying, like, my classmates mm-hmm. dated older guys. Mm-hmm. Like, one of my classmates, her boyfriend at the time, had to be well into his 20s. Like, he was older, and you could tell. So, it's... It, I think that... And she used to, like, brag about it, and she mm-hmm. was just so... You know? And I rem- like, and then when I was a senior... When, after I graduated, I dated a guy that was, like, 10 years older than me. Mm. Because he was available. But, at the, but if I was thinking back, like, now, I'm like, that's foolish. Like that, and why? So, why was he interested in an eighteen-year-old? Right. You know what I'm saying? Well, clearly that's pedophilia. I mean, it is. It, it, it is crossing that line. But do you think a lot of young girls are looking for maybe I don't know a father figure? You think if they like, what is the the desire to date? Because we're talking about students that 
like to date or have the dream of dating their teachers. I think you have an older person that's Mm -hmm. manipulating Mm -hmm. a younger child. Because that's what it is you're telling them. Oh, I'm going to leave my wife or Mm -hmm. what have you. They're able to buy you stuff. Mm -hmm. They're able to, you know, it doesn't take Mm -hmm. much for a young girl Mm -hmm. when you're that age. Mm -hmm. And it's all about manipulation because Mm -hmm. younger, I mean, you like snacks. They buying snacks or free grade. You can get something out of the teacher's lounge. You can't get in there. The, the, that is insane. the requirement is bare minimum uh-huh. and you're praying you you're mm-hmm. a predator and you're praying because that's what you are yeah and it's just not men that do it oh it's i women. have yes. known mm-hmm. i have heard about women teachers sleeping with male athletes at school Absolutely. so it is yeah. so very common mm-hmm. and just really nasty i think it's <laughs> um <laughs> it is but it is. You know, it's i think funny, we but look, yes. yeah it's just how you said we it. look at yeah. males um as as it being oh inappropriate but you know when it's a, a young boy sleeping with a teacher a uh, 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 older female mm-hmm. you know it's a hand clap it is all nasty and she's a predator mm, too absolutely. that's a good point like we do tend to applaud boys for scoring right mm-hmm. and, when and young, right yeah. when they're younger we do applaud that and then but for a girl it's like why are you doing like something's wrong with her and she's nasty uh, yeah. for doing the same thing but you make a good point that we're looking at it the wrong way and like so like even the teacher that there's teachers that have been gotten pregnant by students like and we're talking middle schoolers too like we're not even yeah, it's, it's a, not just exclusive to high school there was a no, young lady that just got pregnant by a, um, a middle schooler a couple of months ago oh my gosh that's so gross the How teacher got the, pregnant. The teacher. What job they got? They can't even read. It's absolutely. <laughs> pregnant. Mm. It's so gross. It's so nasty. That is insane. They're, they don't wear nothing. How is the in? middle like, schooler what? getting out the house? Who that's said that, they have to? That's the manip. Well, well, how we they getting sick? Well, uh, they're doing it at school. I guess well, they could. I mean, I teachers, can see that teachers are doing it. Teachers yeah. are some teachers are having sex with kids at school, like. Well, how do you uh, how, what, well, what is a, like it's something right wrong exactly. with it's something wrong with the educator for real yeah it's, it's something wrong with the educator for sure yeah, yeah you're, um, it's child, child abuse that's gross that's child abuse but yeah. the thing okay so yes I agree that's it's that's repulsive I don't understand <laughs> how as a there's not a single student that I have ever taught or not taught that has been attractive to me mm-hmm. like they are gross. well I've had <laughs> students that you know have said different stuff but they're kids and I, let, me, let me get you straight you don't, have to don't, don't we don't play with me like you that. have to get yes. you straight at the beginning. yes mm-hmm. i had a student that kind I of like one call me bay <laughs> i had one that in that front took of the things whole too far class. Huh? i had one that took Talking things too far bay. yeah Boy, if you, you have to somewhere. you have to set the kids you do i remember i used to sub eighth grade and i, I had lined the kids up outside and i didn't know there was you know one of the students had, i obviously come back in and i leaned over leaned not leaned language arts leaned it's leaned thank leaned. you mm-hmm. leaned okay. not linked not linked leaned lint oh. is Oh, leaned. leaned? No, you leaned, don't leaned no. over. Leaned, leaned. over. Okay. I leaned over Got to you get, go. you know, my little lunch mm-hmm. money out the bag. Dang, Miss Carter, you got a fat... Wait. Whoa. So I had to tell him, I'm like, look, that's not what we're doing. That's very mm-hmm. inappropriate. So when you have kids that are, you know, at that age where they think, you know, they can cross you that way because, I mean, you're young. What, I was, what, 20s? Because you're looking like that, them. You're young. Right. Exactly. Especially I think that's the They don't know how old I am. Spe- they so, don't. You know what? Especially I, I, if yes. you're in high school. Because I was. And, yeah, high school's worse. When I was in high school, I had teachers who were fresh out of college. So when I was a senior, I had a teacher that was 22. One of my high, teachers high school, was 22. High schools are, are the worst. I had. A, I had. I had. <laughs> I worked in a school where the high school students were able, you know, to come to my class. You know, I really felt like I was a mentor to them mm-hmm. or whatever have you. But some of them, you know, would say, uh, try to hit on me. And I'm mm-hmm. like, hey, we're not doing, you know, I don't want to mm-hmm. have to report anyone. But I'm old yeah. enough to be your mom, if not your mom, your right. auntie, you ain't my auntie. Yeah. 
Listen, they're bold. We're yeah. not going to do they that. They are bold. I think that when you when you start talking juniors and seniors in high, high school, no no. high school. They're, they have a different job. thought process. Oof. It's weird. I, I don't get I, it. They think they're grown and they think that you're on the same playing field. But we're, we're just not. Like, I'm a full-blown adult. And, well, and that's I, you're to, not interesting to what me. What you were saying, I mean, you look young. Yeah. So, I mean, you don't look like a typical teacher. So, you're not wearing the moo moo gown. And I'm not, not the moo moo. Yeah. The, with the, not the with jumper the little, with the people on with it. Little, no, I don't like the jumper with the people. <laughs> with the little scarecrow on it, you know. <laughs> They're able to talk to you, do the yeah. little TikTok dances, you know. And sure. They, they, like, in what world do you actually think that we're going to date? I'm your teacher. I had a student that and, tried and to pet me one time, though. Pet and me. then I pet me. You well, know uh-huh. how they like to, and I almost, I almost lost my job that day. I was pet so, you. Yes. Get your nasty. Hand what right the? Now. When I say, <sighs> I almost got fired that day. That I, was going down I had, because I was so repulsed. That's that was nasty. so gross. But I'm like, I had to, like you're saying, I had to literally stop and be like, that's not appropriate, and yeah. I don't touch me. Like, do not touch me. That is. That's not okay. I don't touch you. Don't touch me. Mm -hmm. But I've also had students who have sent messages like I've had students who send messages about how much they wanted to sleep with me. And it was like a whole thing. And it was gross. You got to draw the line at some point. But I mean, yeah. Oh, I reported it. But, you know, nothing happened. You got to draw the line. Let's back up. So you had. So that's. What? Student sexual harassment on teachers? Yeah, it happens. And I reported it. Oh, they went episode. to the next grade. They they went, you said they went to they the went next grade. No, the, so the admin did nothing. nothing. And you reported that they, the child was saying that they, they stayed wanted, in your I had, class. I, I had screenshots and everything. Of, what did the child say? I want to f Miss Rose. <laughs> Can't wait to f her. Did they spell it what? correctly? No, it's spelled wrong. But I, I, oh my god! I, I would dig the screenshots up. For Vicky, y'all what? Yes. I was mortified. And then there were multiple boys in this group so chat. So it was a group chat. And then they somehow pulled me in. Mm. Oh, Somebody. About- and and then the message. And then I saw the messages. And I was like, this is nasty. I hope I'm, if I'm in a group chat, I hope I never see it. I don't want, why? I don't want, I why mean, are you I've talking about me chat, in the group chat? I've definitely been in the group chat. I'm sure. But why do I want to be, you, don't talk, to, like, with the to me, that's, that's the- weird. That's nasty. With the whole song and the video. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. I yeah, you were. You were. Ah, that's so nasty. But see, that just goes to show you the advancement of technology with mm-hmm. the students. Yeah. Now they have these computers. They have a lot of access. They have access to the internet. So they're taking pictures of their teachers in class, mm-hmm. whether with the phone or with their laptops. With their laptops. They're Ridiculous. putting songs over it. They're, they're Making a whole Instagram and TikTok. It's have, just um, personal, weird. Re- personal relationships with our students. Yeah. That some, you know, yeah. S- s- we're not technically su- supposed to, you know, some give students our numbers, but I think mm-hmm. some teachers do uh, for other reasons, not yeah. in that context, give students their numbers. Yeah, we have um, lots of our students, right? Yeah. But yeah. you know, and their parents you have too. To set yeah, parameters for that student, like right. hey, eight o'clock, nine o'clock, you shouldn't be calling me. Like, so I, how do you do that though? Like, how do you, what do you? How would you go about setting <laughs> boundaries like that with your students? I had it. I know. I had a student. It was a little white girl. One of you know, I, I, little, little <laughs> joke with my one of my little favorite white girls. Um, and you know, it, it's important that I let you know, you know, the 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 race behind it, you know, because of the times that we're living in. So she she texts me, and you know, very normal. Okay. For me to receive a text from him, nothing out the ordinary. Well, you know, she was excited because we getting ready to go back to school. Uh, she want to show me her outfits. <laughs> and so I said, oh, this is not going to be good. Mm-hmm. You know, if somebody get this, you yeah. know, this little white girl's phone and I am a <laughs> one i'm a woman. i'm a grown woman second i'm a grown black woman mm-hmm. and the how she putting it it's not what it seemed but how somebody may Makes make it look right yeah. she started laying clothes all on the bed i said hey no 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 <laughs> i said hey you can't send me this and yeah. i immediately didn't like that was that was when it. i told her you can't send me you know she wasn't trying you know yeah. she, she had but the clothes still. out and you know yeah. she finna put uh, baby you can't 
You can't see me. I don't want to see your Not outfit. Nothing. I don't want to see your jeans, t-shirt. I don't want to see. Only but, time I want to see you tomorrow when you show up for school. Cause no man. But see, that's the thing. We have such close relationships with know. our with hey. our students, and we go to their games, and they talk to us. It's like yeah. they don't. They blur they the line innocent. between teacher mom. You know. And sometimes you're the closest thing to exactly. mom or someone who gives a crap at all yeah. for them. Because like, you know, and especially in areas where if you teach in schools where there's a lot of transient students or there's a high minority population, you see, sadly, you see more of that, right? Yeah. Where you fill in the role of auntie, mama, cousin, mm-hmm. whatever. But yeah. but the adult that's consistent but yeah, there. Yeah, she can't have the girl's clothes. Like yeah. Her phone. And, I, and I think that that's. And I'm the mama right. bear. Yes. I am definitely the mama bear, the, but the den mother, yes. <laughs> we'll talk I had, about that later. We, we, I had to bring it up. But yes, <laughs> I am definitely the mama bear. So you, you know, kids are coming to school, they're asking me if something yeah. look right. That's mm-hmm. fine. But when you start sending yeah. over text messages, yeah. um, that just might it yeah. just doesn't come across. It might not be a good look for somebody to get. You no. might not even know the relationship that right. we have, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. for that e- to, to even happen. Yeah. So, so what I did, the only thing I think for me, the only thing that I did that I felt like was helpful is that I have a second phone that I have, and mm. that would be the number that I would put on like my class page. Mm-hmm. So it wasn't a secret, oh, right? Sense. So it's not my person. It's my personal number, but it's a number that is exclusive to only Mm -hmm. for it's for this specific purpose and i would make it clear like if a student was would text me i would also like their parent had to know like hey i your student text me about this i let Mm -hmm. them know so that there was a lot of transparency for the same reason i didn't want parents to think that i was somehow engaging their students or initiating conversations with their students because right. I, I would have students say hey i'm not coming to school today or yeah, hey right. i don't have a ride today or whatever mm-hmm. and if their parent i just felt like like you're saying don't i didn't want anyone to misconstrue what was mm-hmm. what those conversations were about when with regards to me right the other thing is like when students are physically present, especially students of the opposite sex, I'm not wanting no doors closed. I really mm-hmm. don't want us to be by ourselves. Period. We could talk in the hallway. I need you. We could, we need to talk where there's cameras present. Mm-hmm. Or I just, you know, yeah. like there's. I feel like as teachers, so that you can take away any suspicion, there's things you can do that are like very common. Yeah, leave the door open. But I feel like do teachers that are seeking to prey on students. Are they doing those things? Like, you would mean, like, you change? The door like, or? yeah. Like, if I don't want to get caught, why wouldn't I appear to do some of the same things? Maybe I there's mean, a student that I'm just a little bit close to. I've been in a I've room, been a room with, with the, my male student yeah. and the door is closed, but yeah. my mm-hmm. mind or is that it, student mind is far away from I, that I have, type of I have thinking. I had the door closed uh, often with my male mm-hmm. students and I'm not thinking let me open the door so nobody will think right. it's just we're working or the sure. student before them we want if the they, door closed right maybe we're working <laughs> together or somebody closed the door as they were walking we out and me and nobody come bothering us we're sure right. I just I think exactly. for me I just I did that to just kind of allow transparency like yeah mm-hmm. I might be working with that student right. you know but I just for my comfortability and right. to make sure that mm-hmm. there was a way to say, hey, if someone were to peek in, this is you can peek in, you can get in. I didn't want to be in the class. Every teacher has that. their own thing that they do yeah, to keep I themselves mean, comfortable. Yeah. If that <laughs> makes you feel, like Joel said, if that makes you feel comfortable, then that's the thing for you to do. Yeah. It's just weird. When I just I can't imagine. School, we, had, we had a teacher. So it was a husband and wife working mm-hmm. at the school. Mm-hmm. The husband, so they got a divorce and the husband married a student. Wow. Yeah, that happened. What? Real, 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 real talk. <laughs> married yes. the student. That's so good. Married the student. So weird. Wow. And so weird. Mm-hmm. I mean, I could just, it's some, <laughs> you can you, go on you can and go, on. You really could. And just then, you know, like now work. recently, there was a middle school teacher mm-hmm. had an appropriate relationship with a student. Yeah. It happens all the time. And I feel like that's why it's hard to, to really even put a pulse on like how big the problem is. Like, and it's sad because. It really I, is. Because I'm sending my child to school. To learn. Yeah. And you're looking at my child. That's what we're doing. Mm, it's to learn. Much. 
You're you sitting down for the this. The one place where the child is supposed to be safe, safe right, and which is with their mm-hmm. teacher in the school, yeah. and you're thinking about doing inappropriate yeah. things to to the child. And I, so I, I, I know some male friends that have been teachers. They don't even... Like little girls be trying to get in their face, you know, yeah. because they like th- how they yeah. look. And they be like, hey, go on, don't play with me like that. Mm-hmm. You know, it takes I think y- you have to consider the caliber of person. That, I, I just that's the reality. That's I feel like that sucks, though. Like it sucks that, like you're saying, as a parent, I'm sending my kids to school. I want them to just go there to learn. If my I could not imagine if my son was like, oh, yeah, me and my teacher, I would lose it lose it you know his teacher do anything work. anything other than learn and she was doing anything other than learning and she didn't teach him what he need to know and send him to tell what back your husband to say? he'd be under the jail or something like this. The he'd jail. be under the jail let me tell you right now hmm. it's oh he'd be under the jail it'd have been over because that's his kids like you can't i just can't as a parent that's sickening mm-hmm. that's sickening to it's I can't imagine that. Like on a uh, on from the parent perspective, I can't imagine it. And I yeah, but I, but awful. sadly we have to think about it. That's, it's sad, to, that's a conversation. That's really but awful. then yeah, and then as a teacher, I'm like I don't get it. I don't get what what is attractive or sexy or something to a an adult from like a musty, dusty, well, yeah, no yeah. bill paying child. Well, what are some signs that parents can check for in their child to? You know, if they suspect that the child is maybe just have dealing anything. with that type of um, check those their issues phones. at Definitely uh, check school phones. with their teacher. Why they got money? If they have things that that you know you didn't buy, because mm-hmm. um, I think every case has been like it. It's it the same, been obvious, it's, and it's pretty much the same. Mm-hmm. And I just Checking think the you know some parents are looking at the teacher as. You know, they're not suspecting that. For, for an example, you know, we we have taken some of our students to games mm-hmm. um, yeah. on our own personal time, pick them up and, yeah. and, and, and them pay to, for them to go right. to different events. But this so. outside of school, you know, that's, you know, some people may say we they wouldn't do that. You know, right. I, I have, yeah. uh, you know, some teacher friends that wouldn't even do that. But uh, I know. A lot of teachers, well, not a lot, but a few of us, we have those outside relationships with our students where we're going to see them play basketball. Mm-hmm. We're going to see them do their outside school activities. We are around them, but their parents know. Yes. Right. But I'm saying all that to say, what about those parents that feel that same way and they're trusting you, trusting that teacher with their child, and then they go do something awful like I, that? I would look at behavior in a child mm-hmm. um, if they have um, maybe anxiety that wasn't present before, if they're withdrawing away from the family, mm-hmm. um, maybe signs of depression, maybe the kid is staying more so in their room, mm-hmm. checking the cash app, maybe the student has more money than they yeah. should, um, checking the phone. Check their you grades. You have to check the phone, check the grades. If you know your child can't add and all of a sudden they got an AMF, That's, that okay. might be a sign. Did yeah. you have to hit the can't add? Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, excuse me. Did you have to say the kid can't add? I well, mean, if, I mean, I'm just asking. Like I'm saying, if you know your child can't or doesn't do something, then we you- said this in a previous episode. Just you know, as a parent, you have to be nosy. Oh yeah, you but be. you know what? So something that you <laughs> used to say in corporate all the time before I went into teaching is trust but verify. Mm-hmm. Trust mm-hmm. but verify. That's with everything, and that's kind of just something I do all the time. If mm-hmm. I know. Hey, my child does this or she's saying or he's saying this is what's going on. And even if their relationship with their teacher is good and I know this is this teacher to be up and up and they communicate. Sure, I'm going to trust that, but I need to check it like there's yeah. nothing wrong with verifying what's being said to you. Now, they may come. I may get called out in the comments for about for what I'm about to say. I'm not saying this attracts teachers in any kind of way i'm saying that this makes it right for a teacher but we teach middle school and the amount of sexiness that we see walking our schools every day is unreal what mm-hmm. i mean parents dress your child like y'all are not you know the kids who having you know they're having nails 
They're wearing lace fronts. They're wearing lashes. Your six year, your eleven year old <laughs> child shouldn't look like she's eighteen. Amen. I mean, she, she just she shouldn't. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. And as a boys too, that you should, their boys should understand boundaries. Like I shouldn't have to concern myself with your son rubbing my hair. Why? Why mm-hmm. am I worried? Why is why is that <laughs> something your son thinks is okay? I just think and then we have to be teach that boundaries. That's coming f- like from you have to look at those behaviors well because that may be something that has yeah. stemmed from home. Yeah, mm-hmm. absolutely. Mm-hmm. But yeah. I think I mean you make a good point though. D- we got to look at how we pre- how we position our children to go out into the world, right? Like and what it, they're I attracting, should, yeah. based upon what they have. Well, and not that's not to say that they deserve any type of predators. But if you have a young girl who is maybe 12 or 13 and she's just out in the world, Mm -hmm. a grown man may think that she's of age. Well, let's be real about it. These kids are starting to develop a lot faster where they're having, you know, they're starting menses in fourth and fifth grade. Mm -hmm. They are developing, you know, facial hair. Like these boys are coming to sixth grade with their first mustache. You know what I'm saying? They're coming looking a lot older than they really are and you don't mm-hmm. know all the time how old these kids are until they open their mouth and and that's well, not to say they're, they're dumb school. but you know they're yeah like us as teachers we know that but yeah. i'm saying if your kid is going outside and they or you're sending them to school like you said with the lashes on and they got the fresh edge up and a mustache what what you gonna do but <laughs> well, they can't help the mustache now Rose. I, but i'm saying like just Present your child like, huh? Pre- but maybe present like the, them like a child. The bodysuit, the lashes, yes. the lace front. They shouldn't like, be shopping at. They the don't have suit. anything to look forward to when they become an adult. So they are in for the people in the back. Mm-hmm. They don't have anything to look forward to when they become an adult. Because it's you've all done, out. you've done everything. Well, not everything, but probably maybe everything. Because some of them are are doing a lot more. It's you crazy. Just, it's too much. It's way oh. too much. I think I, I think you're right. I think. I think we're all saying the same thing where it's it is a lot. It's a lot to to because they are just oh my gosh, they just develop so fast. I just think so teachers, weird. parents don't understand how um how can I say this? There are a lot more predators in the school system than parents may think. Mm. So yes. it's really important for parents to really mm. stay mm. on top of <laughs> what their kids are doing yeah. you have to stay on top of what they're doing and not just blindly just that, that's not to say you need to be afraid of if your child goes out with you know their teacher if they take them to a you know a basketball game or something yeah. like that but just be vigilant yeah you know we're not texting our <laughs> you know our students like that it's just no. right but there are a lot of kids that are texting their their teachers your 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 child shouldn't be texting their students teacher back and forth no right. we shouldn't be half full absolutely not that's inappropriate yeah. writing don't letters think, right then uh, don't think it's a public school only issue because this stuff is happening in it's happening everywhere private school christian school themes okay. charter school I, home school please those, what's the uh what's it called the micro school hmm. okay. once you and start I, getting into religion we're, those christian schools and that's when you really have in certain Christian schools yeah. you know it, yeah. I, it we, we, had a, we had a student to actually lie on a teacher and said he touched her. What he didn't because she was mad because I think of a grade or what have you. So you know sometimes the kids can be a little malicious, you know, malicious mm-hmm. as well. Oh, absolutely. But you know that's that's another topic for a different show. Yeah. yeah. But um, just to come to a close with it all, um, be mindful if you're a teacher. Just be mindful. Mm-hmm. Of the relationships that you have. Not to say don't have relationships with your students. Mm-hmm. Because we all yeah. do. I, I definitely do. But just be mindful. Like the times that you all are texting and calling. Mm-hmm. Be mindful of that type of stuff. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. I agree with that. It shouldn't be 11 o'clock at night. You're texting you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I think you have to set boundaries. That's really what it boils down. Like yeah. you have to know what your non-negotiables are. What are the things that you'll accept, won't accept, draw those lines. And then, you know, put, I think it's okay to have a barrier and be honest with your students about what that is, mm-hmm. like what you are and aren't comfortable with. Mm-hmm. I think that's okay. And I think it helps them to mm-hmm. one, respect you and two, to set that environment up personal so that those, space. yeah, they absolutely. Have to know it's about okay. Personal yes. Space. And I think that yeah. helps to teach them more than anything because it, 
lets them know that they can do the same thing. Oh, you mean just in there? Yeah, like yeah. if you set boundaries and, and they're forced to respect them, it allows them room to also do the same thing. Because right. everything we do is teaching. You know, mm-hmm. every, anything that you're doing mm-hmm. in that classroom, they're watching this. Yeah. So then I can, oh, my teacher doesn't let me do this or doesn't want people to do this to her. And right. when they do it, there's a consequence. That can apply to me as a as mm-hmm. a sixth grader as well or seventh Absolutely. grader, right? So if I don't like when someone does this and then mm-hmm. the, as a teacher, I can defend that student who says, I don't like this and do the same thing. And I, right. you know what I'm saying? It helps them to reinforce that, hey, it's okay to set boundaries mm-hmm. and to not accept certain behaviors from people or whatever too. I know that's right. So. Well, I think we got another one in the can. Thank you all for watching The Real Teachers of Atlanta. You can follow us on Instagram. Instagram. (laughs) (laughs) Instagram. YouTube. Facebook. TikTok. Snap. We're not on Snapchat. No, I don't think so. Twitter. We're now on Threads. On Threads, right? Yep. Okay. We're on some everywhere. We're everywhere. Right. We're everywhere. So just make sure you (laughs) like and subscribe. (laughs) Remember, we are Real Teachers, Real Talk, Real Atlanta. Bye. Bye. Bye.